Welcome to the Prepped and Polish podcast, the podcast that empowers you to take control of your education. Featuring weekly interviews with influencers in the world of education, as well as tutoring tips, lessons, and updates. And now, here's your host, Alexis Avila. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Tutoring Tips episode of the Prepped and Polished podcast. It's your host, Alexis Avila of Prepped and Polished. For more information, check out our website. It's www.preppedandpolished.com. And get to know the Prepped and Polished community. You can find us on Facebook, Prepped and Polished, Twitter, Prepped Polished, Instagram, Prepped and Polished 1. You can submit a question to radio at preppedandpolished.com. We love hearing from you. Let's get right to it. Springtime isn't just about beautiful, blooming daffodils, uh, warm weather, because for many students, spring is a stressful start of the advanced placement exams, the AP exams. So I'm gonna give you five easy tips so you can alleviate your test anxiety and do your best on exam day. Tip one is talk to your teacher. Your AP teacher knows your work better than anyone, so set up a quick meeting to help gauge your strengths and weaknesses before you begin preparing for the exam, and your teacher may also recommend prep books, available tutors and other materials and resources to use as you study. Tip two is learn your tests format. Each AP exam is structured differently, right? So it's important to know what your test looks like. And you can use AP test prep books, uh, the AP website to take practice tests, look at different questions and get familiar with what you'll be seeing on test day. Tip three is take timed practice tests. So once you've looked at the format of your chosen AP exam, you wanna start practicing so you can get confident and get your pacing just right. Remember, the more practice tests you take, the more comfortable you'll feel on the day of the test. And it will make you less likely to rush. Tip four is study with a group is always an option. So AP exams are designed to test you on a wide range of materials. So sometimes studying with a group can help ensure you're not missing anything because you'll be able to compare notes and putting multiple heads together, sometimes you cover more material faster. Just make sure you don't get together with a couple of your knucklehead friends who are not taking the test seriously. Tip five is prepare early. So The AP exams are a marathon, not a race. So by starting your preparation early, creating a study schedule, you can give yourself enough time to work through the material uh, at the pace that works best for you. And you'll also have more time to focus on any weak spots you may have. So that's the fifth tip. Of course, always make sure to get a good night's sleep before each exam. Uh, If you do that, then you will truly be on your way to success on your AP exams. So, this wraps up our show. It's episode 67, 5 AP exam tips. Please join us for episode 68 coming soon with New York Times bestselling author, Dr. Oz consultant, and health expert, Dr. Caroline Apovian, where Caroline will give her best foods for test day. Don't want to miss that one. To access all of our podcast episodes, go to preppedandpolished.com forward slash podcast. Thank you for joining us on the Prepped and Polished podcast. Now go out there and take control of your education. You've been listening to the Prepped and Polished podcast. For more information, check out preppedandpolished.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for listening. Class dismissed.